Supreme Court has issued notice on petitions over deletion of tweets as well and bar on BBC documentary. The court is going to hear the matter in the month of April is what we know. These are the very latest developments as far as the petition in court. In the apex court on the controversial BBC documentary, the Modi question is, is concerned. Anisha, in fact, is back with us for more details. Anisha, uh, give us a sense of what has been said as far as the question on deletion of tweets also is concerned. We'll just try and connect with Anisha in a, in a few moments from now, but these are details emerging from the Supreme Court as far as the hearing on the documentary, BBC documentary is concerned. We're getting in details right now of what has been said in court. The court has already said that it's a fact that people have been accessing this documentary. The matter is going to be heard in the month of April and the center has three weeks to reply on this controversy is what we've been given to understand. Anisha Mathur is in court telling us more about what has been said by the Supreme Court today. Break this down for us. Also the point on deletion of tweets about the documentary. What has been said that? Well, Seha, first of all, let, uh, let us explain for our viewers what it is that has come before the Supreme Court today. Two petitions which had challenged the central government's decision to take down the tweets, to bar the distribution of this documentary, to bar the uh, sharing of the links regarding this documentary, etc. Those petitions were heard before the Supreme Court bench of, uh, of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and... Uh, uh, today. Now, what the court has said today is a very simple point. One, that it is a fact that people in the country are accessing, are, have been able to access this video. B, that they have issued notice to the central government and asked for all the files relating to the decision-making process because what the petitioners had said, and this, these are the petitions filed by senior journalist N. Ram, advocate Prashant Bhushan and parliamentarian Mahu Amoitra as well as the petition by advocate M. L. Sharma, which had said that under the IT rules, IT Act and the intermediary rules, if the center wants to issue takedown orders for any tweets, any uh, social media platform, uh, any any uh, URLs, etc. The orders of such decision have to be published in public domain within 48 hours. And in this situation, in, with regard to this BBC documentary, these orders have not been made public anywhere. And that is the argument that senior advocate C.U. Singh had raised before the court, that the government is not uh, following its own rules and therefore directions should be given to the government to publish these orders. What is interesting, however, is that the Supreme Court has refused to pass any directions whatsoever at this stage. They have said that we are issuing notice to the centre. Maybe by the time the hearing comes up uh, next, the government would have published these orders. However, the Supreme Court has asked the centre to submit the details of all the files relating to these takedown orders. So, one way or the other, in April, whenever the matter does come up for hearing, the details of these takedown orders will be placed before the Supreme Court. Why the, Supre why the centre decided to pass such takedown orders will, be will have to be explained before the Supreme Court. The second aspect, of course, of what has been raised by these petitioners <clears throat> Excuse me. The second aspect that has been raised by the petitioners, by senior advocate C.U. Singh, is that students in various universities have faced rustication, that people who are sharing these documentaries, they have faced prosecution and therefore something needs to be done about that. And that they ha he had asked for the Supreme Court to intervene on the issue of students being uh, suspended or rusticated. Now the court has for now said that these are issues that can be addressed later. These are not issues uh, that we cannot pass orders right now. We can... Because if we say anything on this issue at this stage, it will basically amount to passing ex parte orders without hearing the centre at all. Okay. And we are not inclined to do that. So at this moment, uh, what we do know, Sneha, is that the court has said that the centre has to file its reply within three weeks. The court okay. has declined to pass any orders against as far the government. As the, of the documentary is concerned or against the government.